What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write text files with text boxes with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at reading and writing to text files using text boxes. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership that's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Alright, it is Monday morning here in Vegas, and this is our 100th Kinter episode. Very cool. I had no idea I was going to do 100 of these when I started. I did a couple. People seemed to like them and asked for more. I kept doing more. I, you know, 10, 15, 20, all of a sudden we're here at 100, and it's been crazy. So thank you so very much for watching and uh, continuing to ask questions and interact and, uh, you know, enjoy the content, and I'll keep cranking them out as long as you guys want them. So in this video, we're going to continue talking about text boxes. We talked about sort of the intro to text boxes last weekend on Friday, and, you know, like I said then, there is just a ton of stuff we can do with text boxes. And one of the popular things to do is to sort of create your own text editor. So we're going to start to slowly kind of move towards doing that. But the first thing you have to do when you're building a text editor, or really anything with a text box, is deal with opening and closing files. So you've got a text file, you want to open it, you want to, you know, do stuff to it, you want to save it. How do you do that? Well, I've got this code here, and you can see, let me pull this up, I've got just a basic little text file. It's got some sample text in it. I just saved it as sample.txt. And so here we can click open text file, the box pops up, we click sample text, open, and boom, it pops up. If we want to make a change, uh, this is new, we can save it. If we then close this thing and run it again, we open it a, a next another time, this is new is still on there. And we can then get rid of that, save it again, and it still works. So that's what we're going to do in this video, and it's actually pretty easy. So we've got some basic Kinter starter code that we always use. And I'm calling this text underscore write dot pi. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So first things first, let's go ahead and create our text box. So let's go my underscore text. Actually, I'm just going to paste this in from our video last Friday. So we've got our text box. We've got root with 40 height 10. Set our font to 16. And we packed it onto the screen. So, okay, we've got our text box. Now let's create a button called um, open text or open underscore button and this is going to be a button and we want to put it in root and we want the text to say open text file and let's go command equals uh, let's say open underscore text now don't name this open because we're going to be running an open function to open the file and it will conflict if you create a function called open and then try to open a file in it so just go ahead and call this open underscore text or open underscore anything you want so let's go open underscore button dot pack and give this a pad y of 20 just to push it down a little bit so okay we've got this button so now let's come up here and let's define our open text function and how do we open files in kinter well this is not a kinter thing this is a python thing so python allows you to read and write open and close files any kind of file you want it's just built into python so we haven't really talked about that in this course. I've got other Python videos that probably talk about this, and I'm not going to go into this in depth uh, for this video. I'm just going to show you how to do some basics, opening and closing files. So to open a file, let's create a variable, and I'm going to call this text underscore file. And it, before we do all the file dialog boxes and all that stuff, let's just open a file. You know, say we already know what the file is. We already know where it is. Let's just open it. So to do that, we would call we set equal and we would call the open function, right? And inside of here, we need to pass two arguments. One is what file do we want? Well, we want sample.txt. Now I've saved the sample.txt in the same directory where our Kinter code is sitting. Uh, you could, so we could use the relative path or you could use the explicit path and go uh, GUI slash sample, uh, but we don't need to do that. So that's the first argument. The next one is you need to tell Python what you want to do. Do you want to read the file? Do we, want, do we want to write to the file? Do we want to just open it? Do we want to, you know, what do we want to do? And there are, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, eight different sort of read write options that we have. We just want R. R stands for just read, right? So let me really quickly paste in some stuff here at the top. 
and I'll push this code to GitHub if you want. So these are the options you have. You have R, you have R+, you have W, you have W+, you have A, and you have A+. I think there are other ones as well, but these are the main ones. So R stands for read only, R+, stands for read and write, uh, W stands for write only, uh, W+, stands for read, uh, write and read, A stands for append, and A+, is append and read. So if you're just reading, you're just reading the file. If you're gonna write to it, this will just write over anything that's already in there. If you're going to append, it will append anything you try to write on there to the end of the file. So this is all I'm gonna say about this. If you're you know, really interested in learning the nitty gritty of this stuff, just Google something like Python read write or Python um, open files or something and you'll get tutorials on all of this stuff and, and the ways to use these differently. But for now, we're just gonna open this file. We just wanna read the file, so we just use R. To use any of these other ones, you just like R plus or W plus or whatever. That's, so that's how you do that. So, okay, we can open this file and then we need to read it once it's open. So we would go text underscore file dot read, right? So this will read the thing. And now this will become whatever's in the text file, right? So then it's always best practices to close your file after you've opened it. So text file dot close. Now, I sometimes forget to do this and it still works okay because when you close the program, it, Python will automatically close any open files you have, but it is definitely best practices to sort of close your files after you open them. Same thing with a database, right? You're supposed to close your database after you get information from it, but sometimes we forget to do it and it kind of works out okay, but definitely best practices to, uh, to close your stuff. So, okay, we've got this. Now, what do we want to do with it? Well, we, we learned in the last video I believe how to write to a text box, we would just go my underscore text dot insert. And we wanna put this at the end of the file, the uh, end of our box. And what do we wanna put in there? Well, we could put in this whole thing, or you know, we could uh, make another variable and, and assign whatever's in this to that. That might be better because then we can close this thing right away and it's not open. But uh, however you want to do this, I'll just do it like this. So end equals stuff. And this should insert whatever's in there. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. And I've saved this as text underscore write dot pi. Let's go ahead and run this. So Python text underscore write dot pi. And here we've got our thing. If we click this button, boom, it pops up. So we've opened the file. We've read whatever's in there. We outputted it. We output it into this text box and we're good to go. So. That's how to, strictly speaking, just open a text file. Now we can get fancy with this if we want, and it's our 100th episode, so why not? So let's come to the top here, and let's import our file dialog. So let's go from tkinter, import file dialog, and we've done this lots of times in the past. So down here, instead of just calling hard coding in a file to open, we can go text underscore file equals, file dialog, and we've done this, you know, just a zillion times, ask open file name. And then we can set the initial directory if we want, and we might as well. So let's go initial dir equals, and let's set this equal to c colon forward slash GUI forward slash, so that's our GUI directory. And then we can set a title equal to uh, open text file, and we can set our file types equal to boom, boom. Now let's go text files. And then let's go, let's see, we want star period txt. And then after this, we want a comma. Okay, so I think that looks good. So this will open our file dialog, allow us to pick which file we wanna open, assign the file name to this text file, then we can text file open, we would just change this to text underscore file. Instead of opening a specific file name, we want to we want to open whatever's in this variable and then reassign the whole open thing back to the same variable or you could change the file uh, this variable name if you wanted to and then assign whatever we read out of here into this stuff and then output our stuff, be sure to close our file. So let's go ahead and save this and run it, make sure that worked. So now when we click this, boom, we get a file dialog box, but no, we got an error. What did I do? Let's see, line 43, ah, line 18, all right. So, so let's see, let's look at this line 18. What did we do? Okay, ask open file name. 
I misspelled initial, initial. There we go. Okay, so that should work now. So let's try this again. Pull this over, let's open this. Boom, we get a file dialog box. We can pick which file we wanna open. We click open, boom, it pops it out. So, okay, that's how we do that. Pretty simple, pretty cool. Now, what if we wanna actually save? We wanna make you know some change to our file and we wanna save it, how do we do that? Well, fairly simple. Let's head back over here and let's come down here and let's create a save button. And that's gonna be a button and we wanna put it in root. We want the text to equal save file. And let's go ahead and give this a command of save underscore txt. We'll make this in a second. So let's go save underscore button dot pack. Give this a pad y of 20 to push it down the screen just a little bit. And now we can come up here and let's define our save text function. Let's give ourselves some space here. Okay, so how do we save a file? Well, it's like I said up here, we can read, we can write, we can read and write. And so you wanna pick one of these to basically do what we already did here, just change this guy here. So a uh, slightly different, but same sort of concept. So let's go text underscore file, and let's set this equal to open. And for now, let's let's just hard code this in. So we wanna call this sample.txt. This is the file we've, we've named it. And instead of R, we want a W. And write just writes, and it will overwrite anything that's already in this file. So we'll open this file, doesn't matter what's in there, when we run this, it will delete everything that's in there and copy whatever we tell it to copy. And in our case, we're gonna get this stuff. So we've opened this file. Now, what do we wanna do? Let's go text underscore write, or text underscore file dot write. And then we want to pass in, what do we wanna actually write to this file? Well, we know the name of our text box is my text. So we can go my text dot get, and we learned this in the last video, we wanna get from line one to line end. So we go from line one, that's 1.0, to end, and that's that. So let's go ahead and save this. And that should do it. So let's run this guy. So let's open our text file, grab this, boom. Let's type in, this is new. We can save it. Now if we close this and run it again, come over here and we open this again. Now it says this is new. So we can delete this if we want, save it again, and that works. So we could obviously spruce this up a little bit. We can make a little thing pop up that says, you know, your file has been saved or whatever, uh, but uh, I think you get the picture. Now we could do the same thing we did up here. We could grab this thing and bring it down here and we could paste this in so we could get this text file name and then instead of saving it as this, we could just save it like that. And this does the exact same thing. So if we go ahead and save this, it just uh, allows us to pick the file name that we wanna save it as. So let's open a text file. Uh, let's open this thing. Let's type in new, let's save this. Pops up, what do we wanna save it as? Sample.txt, click it. We can now close this if we open it again. Boom, now it says new, and that works. So, you know, you could play around with this file dialog box and to where it's not opening it, it's allowing you to pick a file name and you could type a file name. We've looked at things like that in past videos, so you can go back and learn all about file dialog boxes if you want, but I think you get the idea and uh, really cool. So really easy to open text files and, you know, output them into text boxes, really easy to save text boxes to text files and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this 100th video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.